hello guys welcome to my youtube channel if today is the first time you see my face please you're highly welcome please do well by hitting on the subscribe button to turn on the, the notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified whenever there's a new video upload today i want to talk about uh breed fortification okay on this channel we discuss spirituality herbs beauty and herbs anything that has to do with problem of life if you've been to hospitals for some kind of illness you couldn't get cure on this channel you get a simple solution by the grace of god everything we do on this solution is by the grace of god almighty okay we cannot do without god okay it's, it's only god that answers prayer right so i we also do, like I said, we discuss spirituality. How do I mean by spirituality? We discuss some spiritual things, spiritual healings, spiritual solution. Are you going to one spiritual problem or the other? We we'll give solution here. We we'll teach you on how to do it, okay? We we'll don't collect money, except on a special request. We we'll give solution, we we'll give tips on how you do it. But if you think you are too busy to do it, you can do any to do it for you. So today, I only want to use this opportunity to adv advertise my build and uh, bead fortification for you. Okay. Next time, I'm still going to teach on bead fortification. But today, I want to tell you that I do fortify beads. You know what I mean? When I say I fortify beads, please do not misquote me. Bead fortification is not bad. It's not an evil thing. It's not charm, okay? Take for instance, you know rosary. Like the Catholic wear rosary. Okay? When you buy rosary from the market, some of you take it to uh, your reverend father, right? To bless it for you. And you start wearing it. I believe probably the reverend father will put on it, he will do some sacrament on it also. And you start wearing it. And by the grace of God, it works for you. Right? Some of you go to Babalawo to get to fortify some of your items, like your beads, your waist beads, your jewelry. What we do here, we don't patronize Babalawo. We believe in God Almighty. I'm a Christian and I'm born again. Everything I do, I don't, it's not against the scripture. I wouldn't do anything that becomes a sin to me. Okay? So anytime I come online here, anything I, anything, anything I teach, I know it does not go against the holy book, which is the Bible, which I believe in. If you people can look at me very well, I have a series of beads. You can look at my hands. I have beads, a lot of beads. Look at my neck. All these beads, they are fortified beads. Like, I fortify my beads before I wear them. I don't just go to the market, buy beads, and put them on. No. Most of those beads that you buy comes with negative energies, okay? Some of them, you don't know where you get them from. Some of them, you don't know the hands that have touched it. Different hands might have touched it. And they will, they will impart the negative energy to it. So when I say I fortify beat, I don't mean I do evil with it. I fortify beat for blessings. Okay, looks it's one of my beats. All these beats are fortified beats. I don't sell them. I don't sell these ones. I don't share my beats. If I put on beat and you like it, I can actually go to the market and get it for you for free. I don't share my beat. I have a lot of beads, 45 beads already. I use and this one's with my hands. Like I said, on a good day, I will teach you on how to fortify your beads yourself so that you see that there's nothing fetish about it. It's just the process that matters. Look at them. This is another one. These are my 45 beads. Look at them. These are my bangles. You see, 
there are a lot of rain too that is not here with me right now so how do you fortify your beat why do you fortify your beat i fortify them for blessings there are some for maybe probably if i want to pray okay i fortify them for so many reasons as you can see this one is carrying cross this is not my fashion beat this very one that it this is not my fashion beat it's my prayer beat okay this is my prayer beat i shouldn't be doing this i'm sorry these are my prayer beats. I want to pray. I want to do this special prayer. If I want to have time with God, like read time with God. If I want to enter the other realm, the realm of the spirit. If I want to communicate with God Almighty. I put on this beat. I've already fortified. I also fortified in the name of God Almighty. There's some natural things that God has created. For my use okay i also have other beats like this ones these are my fashion beats but they are fortified okay it's a beat i wear out on a daily basis if i'm going out one or two occasions at times you fortify your beat when you go to some places you get favor if you're going for interview you have a fortified beat you already pray for maybe have a favor beat for instance Want a favor beat, you want a blessing build. If you're going for an interview, put on your beat. You already pray for you already fortified in the name of God Almighty. When you put the beat on when you go out, your case will be different. Even if you do not even pass the interview, there's a way God will show you mercy and grace. You fortify your it you just the essence of this fortification, you just say what you want. That's so you don't need to, you don't have there's any fetishness attached to it. Like this one now, in my hands. I always say how I want what I want this beat to do for me. If I want them to bring me blessings, financial breakthrough. If I'm going to my business area, I want blessings, I want more customers. That's how you do your prayer. It's not that you are doing any fetish thing to it. You pray on it. Just say your intentions. But mind it, they must not be bad intentions, okay? They have to be all positive intentions. Have money beat, have favor beat, you have protection beat. Yes, there are beat you fortify for protections. If you go anywhere, no evil feet touch you by the grace of God, not in your own power. You fortify the name of God Almighty, you fortify it in, in, in which other name you believe in. If you believe in Jesus, believe in your ancestors, it's fine, but I don't believe in my ancestors. An sorry, I don't believe in my ancestors. That's, I do not teach what others teach. I believe in God Almighty. I believe in the name of Jesus. I believe in the Holy Trinity, okay? So I pray through Jesus. I pray to God Almighty. I also pray to the universe because he's the creator of the universe. So that's how I fortify my bed. So in case you want me to help you to fortify your bed, I'm at your service. A very good one at that matter okay you can get the beat of your choice and let me know i'm fortified for you or if you want me to go to the market and get the bills uh, i like i write and fortify it in your name say one will do beat fortification fortified in a person's name but the person has to write out all his or her intentions i can't write my intentions for you if i want to fortify beat for you i will tell you what do you want god to do for you okay what do you want god to do for you you write out all the things you want god to do for you and you write out your name and you give it to me i'll help you and finish the remaining work <laughs> yes yeah, so like i said it's no fetish there's nothing fetish to it and i bet if you wear this beat you love it you see, you see why some people go to some places, they'll be noticed. They'll get favor. People will like, ah, is it only you? Some some guys wear only single beats. You know, mostly guys, see, they wear only single. That's that, these ladies, though. They wear single beats. You see that they are doing well. In the offices, you see some guys put on some beats in their hands. It's 45 beats. These are beats for favor, for breakthrough. It's just like the way we use anointing oil. Let me show you. This is my own anointing oil. Like, I 
as a Christian, you pray on your anointing, or you maybe can take it to your father, your reverend pastor, your prophet, your prophetess. They pray on the anointing oil for you, or you have the power, you pray on it for you. You, you, you fortify the anointing oil yourself, okay? What you do if you are going out on a daily basis, you take it and you put it on your forehead. That's all. You pray for God's protection, okay? So there's nothing wrong with beat fortification for those of you that think it's fetish. As a child of God, as a human that exists upon the surface of this earth, everybody has a mantle. Okay, let me even talk to the Bible. There are prophets in the Bible that has mantle. And to me, their mantle is their own protection. For instance, Elijah. Elijah. Moses in the Bible. Now, the popular Moses, all of us know. Sorry, this video is taking so long. When God called El Moses in the wilderness, he said, okay, it's time for you to take this task. And uh, Moses was complaining that, ah, you do not have power. How is he going to do it? Blah, blah, blah. All of us know the story. God said, you should pick a stick. I don't know if I was correct. Now, what is it? He said, okay, no, Moses was, you know, Moses always stay in the forest. God said, what is it in your hand? This is a stick. I don't know how he get the stick. I, I can't get that line very, very well. But I know he was having a stick in his hand. And he was using that stick to do miracles. Am I correct? When he went to the Egypt, his own stick, Swallows Pharaoh's stick, his stick turned to snake. If he put it on the ground, he put the stick on the ground, it will turn to snake. It will swallow other snakes from Pharaoh. It's written in the Bible. So that is Moses mountain. Mountain. That is the old mountain. So if I say fortify your bid, you see, is there anything wrong with it? Is it because it's God that directed Moses to do it? It's the same thing. So he used the stick to do so many miracles. The stick is a physical object, right? Just like this bit as well. When they get to the Red Sea, what happened? Bible, the Bible said God commanded uh, Moses to hit the sea, and the sea divided into two. It's the same stick he used, which is his mountain. So if I said this are my mountain, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing fetish about it. All right? He used the same stick to hit the Red Sea and divided into two. So if I said I use this bit to do blah, 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 to do so many things. So is, you guys think it's fetish? Because we are not in Bible era. What about Elijah? We Elijah in the Bible. When it was time for him to ascend to heaven, Elisha followed him to a desert where he will cut up to heaven. Sorry, I don't know how to put that Bible quotation. The Bible said when he went there, he said, Master, I should drop the garment. So Elijah dropped the garment for him. I'm a Bible scholar, but you should know what I'm saying. That is on mountain. And when he dropped his mountain, Elisha took over it. And he's using the mountain, he's using it to do miracles. He, he now used the mountain to get more power, isn't it? So that's our own mountain. So when you come to build fortification, that's what we use. It's not fetish. There's nothing wrong with that about it. Guys, I do fortification for guys. Hand fortification for guys. Like I said, I don't do fortification for evil purpose. No, no, no. I don't do a beat fortification for evil. God will not even answer the prayer. Yes. I don't do evil. God will not answer the prayer. I do it for only good things, okay? I do waste beads. Sorry, I don't have it here. For ladies, you can fortify your beads, your waist beads, okay? For fashion, but you fortify it here for protection. All right, yes, it's fanciful, but if you want it, no evil will touch it, you wait. So that's how that's the end of today's video. So if you are interested in bead fortification, please DM me. I'll teach you the process. Though on a good day, I'll do the video here, but you will find me to do it for you specifically. I'm at your service and it's hundred percent effective because it's time demanding. And I have some natural recipe at least for it that even you when you wear it you know that yes you're wearing something thank you for watching if you like this video please like subscribe comment and uh, god will bless you it, it the name of this youtube is i natural like i said my whatsapp number is it's on my youtube 
page okay or if you want if you have one or two questions please put it on the comment section i will reply and i'll give you the feedback thank you do have a nice day bye